Hey guys, it's Adam AK, Swimming Bird, and welcome back to Kirby Triple Deluxe. Last time we beat the boss of World 3, Krakow, and we're headed on into World 4 here. Whoa, right off the bat, a raging river. Kirby's getting swept away. Look out! Oh, it's Glunk. He's a classic Kirby enemy. Recognize him from a few games. Thorn Rings, what is going on? This is kind of a jungly world. It's pretty cool. Hey, Blipper, what's up? Garden bananas? Cool, cool. <laughs> this uh, this world's called Wild World, and you can tell there's you know jungle trees and temples and stuff everywhere. I really hope the final boss is a twist, and it's Tom Nook. He ropes Kirby into debt and gets him a house. <laughs> it just uh oh hey I want to there we go. Almost killed that little bell guy there. This is one of the newer powers. I like this one a lot. It has range. It's got some good close range attacks. Apparently we can use it underwater, so that's good. Sorry Blipper, didn't mean to hit you. Uh oh uh oh oh oh, oh that one's in the foreground. Okay we're good. <laughs> Trying to collect the keychains as much as I can, but I learned that there's 256 of them. So I don't know if I'm gonna get all of them unless they happen to unlock something cool. I'm not really sure though. Hey, I saw a door down there. I'm gonna jump off. Oh, okay, we landed on a thing. Good, good, good. There we go, in the door. This is one of those secret paths. I bet there's a sunstone here. I'm trying to collect all the sunstones, of course, because those are definitely worth getting, but I don't know about the keychains. If anyone knows if they unlock anything, because yeah, there's hundreds of them and they're very tough to to get all of them. I think you have to play through some of the stages again because they're randomized, and I doubt I would get all of them with one, you know, play through the game. We got our first sunstone of the level here. We gotta keep our eye out for two more. I think I can, whoa, yeah, Kirby floats up when he's got air in his mouth and you uh, you go in the water, that's pretty cool. Oh, hey, I want this, okay. <laughs> Giant eel guarding a little sports drink or whatever. Let's go through the door. I think, yeah, the bell power-up's pretty good. I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's definitely one of the useful ones. Ice cream, thank you very much, little Waddle Dee. Maybe I will switch it out. I haven't used the ninja in a while. Oh, it's trying to stop me from getting it. I'll grab the ninja one. I think we got a mini boss here, it looks like, because they usually give you the powers and the food before that. Hey, get out of here, Glunk. I don't want to fight you. There we go, it's Grand Wheelie. Come here. Oh, I have a katana that I can use without doing the little side slash. I didn't realize. I like that side slash, though. Look out! Oh, he's all noxious. He's polluting the environment and the forest. <laughs> Go, Kirby. Warrior of nature. Slice him, slice him, slice him. Yeah. Shooting some kunai in his backside. Oh, whoa, he's flying into the screen. They definitely use the 3D a lot in this game. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Kirby, Kirby. Shoot that at him and get your ninja power back. Hurry. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> he flattened me. That's crazy. There we go. I could get the wheel power if I want. Since we got wheelie here, might as well. Let's do it. <laughs> roll out. Transform and roll out, Kirby. Ooh, lots of food. Yeah, this world's pretty cool. You don't usually see too many, like, Amazonian jungles and stuff in a lot of games. Oh, hello. Jungle's one of those, like, second subsets of elemental things that you'll you'll sometimes get. Hey, little bee guy in the backward. I, I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything, though, so I'm going to look down here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We're getting sucked underneath. I bet there's something secret somewhere here. We'll probably, if I don't get another sunstone soon, I might travel back through this. Kirby can go over the water with the wheel. That's really cool. Go, Kirby, go, Kirby, go. Get that, jump up. Oh, what's down there? Oh, Kirby. <laughs> there's a parasol if I want it. Try to keep going. Blade Knight. I think there's something hidden down there with that Gordo, I bet. Ooh. Hmm, we have to break that somehow. Kirby, do not go in there. Whatever you do. I wonder if we need the Blade Knight. This is gonna be tough, I bet. Oh wait, you can do that. There we go. We got the wheel. Uh, Kirby! Up. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, Kirby, do this thing! Yeah, there we go. And we can escape using this little bomb. That's the second stun stone. Sun sunstone. <laughs> There's a tongue twister there. Oh, Kirby, can you not get up through there? You're too fat? Okay. Well, I'm gonna just go this way then. Let's go back around, wheel our way through. We're kind of immune to a lot of damage, I guess, when we're the wheel. Because the Gordo did not hurt me. I could get a sword there, but we're just gonna keep going with the wheel. I'm enjoying this game so far. The difficulty is ramping up slowly but surely. Gotta go into the background to get that. Hmm. Let's see, it's taking us around. There's a keychain. Uh-oh, gotta hit that, of course. Uh-oh, uh-oh, look out, Kirby. <laughs> Little eel jumping out of there. I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing anything, of course. What's up here? Oh, it's looping around. I really had to hit that. Oops, all right, well, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, hurt you to check and make sure you're not missing anything in these, of course. Looks like there might be something hidden in the wall there. Definitely do not want to go to the door yet, though. Hit that! What's up here? There we go, the last sunstone that I need. Nice. All right. I'm kind of, like, I'm overly collecting them, but I do want those bonus levels to show you guys, so 
I don't need that many to do the boss, but of course, I want to get as many as we can. There's another keychain. I think I just lost my wheel ability, unfortunately. No, Kirby! <laughs> I got so distracted by losing my wheel that we uh, we missed the door. One more time around, and we'll get it. Here it is. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go do the bonus game. I heard there was the bonus games with Kirby's Animal Friends. I really want to see those. I don't know if they're, like, hidden somewhere. Oh, they might be, like, in some different levels. Definitely botched that cannon shot. All right. So, I've almost gotten all of the copy abilities, I believe. Ooh, Frotzo. Let's see what else we got. Tick. Aw. <laughs> He's adorable. Iron Mom. Mem. <laughs> that one's cool. Those boxing, boxing gloves. So yeah, I've almost gotten all of the copy abilities, except Crash. And that's one that I missed. There was an exploding enemy I could have gotten it from. But hopefully we'll see another one of those. This stage looks a little creepy. There's like gravestones or ruins or something. Oh yeah, look at that eye. Oh my gosh. Is this a Zelda game? It's like a single evil eye. We're gonna need a key if we get wanna get in there though. What do we got here? I wanna have to puff and then blow to break this open, I'm guessing. Unless we can get a power up. There we go. Oh hey! <laughs> it's Scarfy! Uh, uh. Speaking of scary, that's one of the scariest enemies. Lamb. There we go. Got the key. Uh, uh, uh. Run, Kirby, run! <laughs> he's he's uh he's not as bad as like Fanto in Mario Brothers 2. They really need to bring that guy back. I don't know how many Mario games he's been in. That creepy mask from Mario 2. Oh, we got another like fun house level. That's what this is. There's a ghost right there. Grab that. Ooh, anything hidden underneath? Mm, gonna jump over it. We really have to watch the mirror in the background. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that, oh, it's cause you could see that that platform wasn't there in the background. I got gotcha you now. They're being real tricksy. I might just hover over most of this, so I don't have to worry about that. Come here, ghost. Out of my way. But yeah, I didn't even notice that uh, the platform wasn't real. I'm just gonna jump over these. I don't need that star. And then we can go through the top, looks like. Yep, and that's there. We gotta get around that guy. Okay, we're doing all right. Oh, we missed a thing down. Oh, we can go under once we get past here. He's gonna go in the foreground, go quickly when he's in the background, drop through that. And there we go, keychain. Yeah, this is confusing. It's messing me up. I have to really pay attention to the background and not the foreground. Okay, we got some delicious curry. It's making me hungry. There's not very many good curry places around <laughs> where I live. Uh, the one time I went to New York City, uh, we went to the Nintendo store. That was when Dragon Quest IX was coming out. I got to play that like early for the DS. But we went to the Nintendo store, and right around, I think it's not too far from there, is a place called Gogo Curry. If you're ever in New York City. Oh, there was the crash ability! Oh, I wonder if I can get it to respawn if I actually walk away and come back. But uh, but yeah, Gogo Curry is really good. It's kind of like a little small curry place, but if you, uh, if you get a chance to go there, it's really good. It's different from Indian curry. Now I'm really hungry. <laughs> there we go. Crash! Nice! Okay. I'm not, I haven't used this ability in this game. I forget. It's got a sweet little, like, crown harnessing electricity. I think it's really powerful and will, like, kill everything on screen. Let's use it. Here we go. Yeah! I'm surprised Skirb Kirby didn't scream out like he does with the, uh, the microphone. Yeah, you lose it pretty much immediately. So you gotta be careful with that. I need, a, I need another ability, guys. <laughs> Running out of, uh... There we go, ninja. Thank you. Oh, oh. <laughs> Might as well suplex that guy. I really want to try to use the ninja's clone ability. I gotta wait for something to try to hit me. There we go, I did it! Haha, -ha, I made the little log and it protected me. Awesome. I was uh, worried I wasn't gonna be able to time that right. Because I tested it out off camera before and I couldn't get it to work very easily. Hello, little mummy. See ya. Sliced you up. Oh, look out. Don't want to go into those. Is this, so is this Tick? He doesn't have the little, uh, the little coloration, but he also has those little leaves on top of his head that the other guy didn't have. Oh, secret door. We have not gotten any sunstones yet. I'm really worried I'm missing some of them. Hey, okay. So we got to, let's see, we got to hit the missiles in the right order here. It looks like we got to hit that with one, and then we'll hit the bomb with another, and the switch with the third, right? I think that's the way we got to go. And then we should open that up. That should hit everything, and... Is that it? Oh, I think so. Cool. Okay. That looked a little more complicated than it actually was. But we got it. I really hope that's the first sunstone here. It is! Okay. This is a long level, it looks like. I've got four to collect in total, and that was only the first. Back out into the fun house. Here we go. The music's really jaunty and nice. <laughs> What'll do. I can probably throw some kunai and get him. There we go. All right. Go, 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 go. Yeah, for all these guys. 
Yeah, the crash ability is useful, but you only get one use out of it. It doesn't seem like it would be that good for the uh, the old arena or any of that stuff. Oh, that. I knew, to, I knew that looked different. I could probably sit on the wall as my ninja, right? And then just shoot those off. There we go. Haha, -ha, hidden keychain. I like the ninja's ability to grab onto the wall. Although, most of the time you can float, like, in, in endlessly with Kirby, so you don't necessarily have to grab onto the wall. Oh, we're gonna lose it. I missed the ninja already. Let's go, let's go. I'm just getting a little better with him, finally. Oh, we got a ghost tailing us. A bunch of stuff tailing us. Little platforms. Keep your eyes open, guys. There's gotta be something hidden. Oh! There's a delicious drink. Ugh, leave me alone. Leave me alone, ghosts. <laughs> They're following me like Boo. If I look at them, will they stop? Nope. <laughs> They're not as easy as the Boo to trick or uh, to scare. Oh, is this the way we have to... Yeah, we need to get a key from somewhere, though. It's probably hidden somewhere here. There it is. Hidden in the air. And then I can grab it. I have to walk along, so I gotta hurry. Go, go, go. Use the background. I just look like I'm just walking on air. Walking on sunshine. Go, go, go. Nice. This better be number two. Cross your fingers. It looks like it is. Okay, cool. Go, 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 go. I keep worrying I'm going to miss it, obviously, but we can always go back. I might grab some of them off camera if I have to. Ninja again. There we go. One of my favorites, of course. Oh, uh, a key. What else we got in here? Mummies. Look out. Smoke bomb. Does the smoke bomb even do any damage? <laughs> I think I can do up and... Yeah, we got that crazy uh, attack there. We don't want to go through the door that doesn't use the key, I'm guessing. Unless we can bring the key through. Oh, there we go. That's where we gotta go. Through the lock. Don't let those mummy ghosts get me. Oh, it was another permanent door, but we gotta uh, run. Oh no, they're gonna try to stomp me, aren't they? Oh, maybe not. I think they're trying to trick me, though. Here we go. Miracle Fruit. Nice. Alright, Hypernova Kirby. Activate. I wonder if we're gonna eat this, those uh, suits of armor. That's kind of cool. Can I go back and eat them? They might have something hidden in them. Let me eat you guys. Let me eat ya. What are you doing? What's going on? You're not gonna let me eat all your armor? They're so heavy, I guess, they don't let me. Okay. Well, I'll leave them there. Strange. I, in the thumbnail of the, uh, the little level, it looked like they turn into evil things or something. Yeah, very odd. They're not doing anything yet. But they feel like they're gonna come to life. Oh, that one did. Okay, he's got a ghost in him. Oh, I gotta eat him and get that evil ghost out of there. Nom, <laughs> he was so fat. All right, I bet this one's gonna, one of these is gonna come to life. There he goes, he's moving. Look out. Eat him, eat him, eat him. We gotta hit that switch. Yeah, I was expecting more of them to come to life. I'm like super paranoid from playing Dark Souls and other games where you gotta watch out for tricks and traps. Anybody got a key in here? Anybody hiding the key? Look out. One more of these guys, and hopefully he's got the key hidden behind him. Nom. He's so fat. <laughs> Anything hidden over here? Just checking. Doing good. Oh, I think I could probably look in the mirror and have seen which was evil, right? It's hard to tell, because some parts have mirrors and some parts don't. Let's keep going on. What else you got, evil castle? There's a door right there. I don't think I can get to it. I have to go into the background. Uh, evil books! I gotta eat those. Kirby's gotta learn. If he eats a book, would he, like, copy the knowledge out of it? I don't know if it works like that. Evil plates, okay. Oh, we gotta deal with those guys once we're in the background. This is like the Beauty and the Beast castle or something. All these guys with their evil knowledge and talking plates and walking around. <laughs> oh, I like the little hats on the ghost, too. Gives them a little more personality. Sunstone number three for me. Thank you very much. Let's go. All right, books. I don't think I can eat those. Keep going through here. One more sunstone. I've got an ice cream cone if I need it. Oh, I can eat those. The sandwiches heal me. When, even when I eat them like that. That's good. Ooh. Hey, is Dross, uh, Drossia around here anywhere or something? I don't know what's going on with these fake... Oh. Uh, they're going to mix up again. Oh, we got to pick the one that looks real, right? But I can't. It seems random. Because I don't see any differences between them. Hmm. One of them might be spinning different. I wonder. Or do we go into the background and shine some light on them? And find, because look, it looks like we can uh, pull the curtains off of this thing. And we will shine some light on the ghosts, revealing the true one. Oh my gosh, they're burning. <laughs> Poor guys. Burning alive. I bet that door will, uh, ooh. Yeah, I want to go back into that background and get that sunstone. We pull the... There we go, pulled the hinges off. Now we can get that. Aha. 
I almost went uh, through the door thinking it would take me back there. All right, got all of them. Doing good. Thank you guys for tuning in, watching me play through Kirby. Jump on this. Here we go. The more I play this, the more hyped I am for Smash Brothers, because it really has that same uh, type of gameplay as the Subspace Emissary and feels like it. Whoa, got a lot of stuff in the background that looks valuable that I could eat. I bet this is a fake door, a fake way to get out, I'm guessing. Or not. Oh. Hmm. Oh, nope, it is. <laughs> it's the Ghost King. And, oh, look at those teeth. Gross. Got a cool map. Mat mask. <laughs> I was looking at the background in the pictures. They kind of look like maps. Okay, we got to get to that urn, I guess. Hmm. It's an evil flying urn. This is a weird mini boss. Come here, come here. And then it eat ya. I'm going to throw at me. Something? I thought the level was over, but I thought wrong. He's going to go possess different things, I bet, as we go. He's going to possess the clock. He's probably going to possess the painting and the piano. From the looks of it, you can see those things can move. Come here. I want to eat ya. I gotta get him at the right time. Oh, oh, here he comes. Get him, get him, get him. <laughs> he popped out like a cuckoo clock. Okay, go on the piano. Or the picture. Oh. <laughs> He's laughing. Let's wait till we get him in just the right spot. Here he comes. And, oh, what's he doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Going back and forth. There we go. Gotcha. Kirby, you're eating all these priceless artifacts. Stop it. All right, last thing. Looks like... Going in the piano. Oh, it looks just like the piano in Super Mario 64. The uh, the piano with the crazy tongue and evil evil mouth there. Look out, Kirby. Don't let him bite you. <laughs> he tried to jump on me. I'm not going to let him. Kirby, there we go. You are dead. Nice. We just got to kill him as well. Go, go, go. Yeah, gotcha. All right, ghost. Show me the way to go home. I want to get out of here. Haha, the door's back. All right, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. We'll finish up with the bonus game, see what keychains we got, and then we'll keep going. I was not expecting that level in a uh, jungle world, but it's nice when they do the nice variety. That's uh, That's been something that a lot of recent Nintendo games have been trying to do better, I think. Like uh, Super Mario 3D World has a lot of levels, which they don't necessarily fit the theme of the world, but they, they add a bit of variety so you don't get bored. Here we go, num num num, eat that maximum tomato. Special keychain. What did we get? Bubble Kirby. That's nice. I don't think that one's in this game. KO'd Kirby. <laughs> Little angel. And Fire Kirby. Oh, that looks really cool. Okay, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time for more Kirby Triple Deluxe. Goodbye.